up? I'm Bethany Hamilton. I'm a pro surfer, and this is my story. I was born and raised in Hawaii, and my family all um, surfed and. So right when I was young, like three, four years old, I started surfing and just fell in love with it. And I just remember when I was about seven or eight is when I really started getting into surfing because some of my best friends surfed and we just like going to the beach and just being in the ocean. I started competing when, basically when my parents could push me into a wave and then push me back out. And that was probably when I was like four or five, and, and then I just continued competing and was pretty hooked just on surfing and just obsessed with, you know, the lifestyle, I guess. And when I realized I wanted to be a pro surfer, I guess I was probably around eight or nine, and I just started competing and doing pretty good in just like the little amateur contests around, um, around Kauai. And, um, one of my first major events was um, the Rel San Menahuni contest, and that's on Oahu. And um, I did good in that, and ended up winning it. And I guess, even though I was really young, like you can kind of see like which way my career is heading and how I'm doing in it, and um, it was looking pretty promising. When I was about five years old, I gave my heart to Jesus Christ and surfing and Jesus and my family and just my lifestyle um, kind of all just started um, skyrocketing towards professional surfing. And as I grew older, my faith in Christ definitely grew too. And um, same with my ability to surf, I started getting better and better. And um, I guess just um, going to a lot of like the young Bible studies for like younger kids and um, I just knew that I wanted to serve God with my whole life and um, give everything I do to Him. The month before the attack happened, me and my mom had just been praying a lot about like what God's will for my life was and what He wanted me to do. And I just really wanted to glorify God through my surfing and um, I just didn't know exactly how or um, just what to do so I was just really focusing on that and then the attack happened and then it was just like life came to a halt. On Halloween of 2003, I was surfing with um, my friend and her brother and dad, and then I lost my arm to a shark. A shark just came and bit it off, and I don't know, I lost about 60% of my blood, and um, it was just a miracle that I survived and made it to the hospital, and I'm still here today and just stoked to be alive and doing what I'm doing. My plan, my personal like plan was just to become a pro surfer and just blow up in the surfing world and then I lost my arm and it came to the point where am I even going to be able to surf anymore? Like what am I going to do? Am I going to have to like move to the mountains and snowboard or become a photographer? And um, just all these ideas were popping up and but inside I knew I wanted to at least just try surfing again and give it a go. and. Um, I didn't know what God wanted, had in plan for me, but I knew I just wanted to still be a light for Him, and He just, I think He, he gave me a peace um, through every little situation, and um, He gave me the strength to just move on, and I started surfing about three weeks after, and um, I got up on my third wave, and uh, pretty much right then I knew I'd be surfing, and being in the ocean um, for as long as I live or have the ability to do it. And now I'm 19 years old and I'm up about on my third year of competing as a pro surfer on the WQS. And 
It's really exciting because a lot of people probably doubted me and I even probably doubted myself and I just know that God's given me this amazing ability and opportunity to just compete and surf and um, just be a light to that world and just the whole world. <laughs> When the attack happened, uh, I guess I just instantly became famous and that wasn't really something that I desired and I didn't really have a strong desire to just be famous and like be known by the whole world and that's kind of what happened so I realized that that was my opportunity to, to just share God's love and to this day I guess it just continues on in different ways um, just through my surfing or opportunities just to do um, different TV shows or um, I think we need to just really be aware of when our opportunities are out there and just to share God's love and um, be a light for Him.